So my, my goal here for the next few minutes that we get to spend together is to answer two questions that are probably burning in your mind. The first is, uh, why am I holding a blue marble? <laughs> right? You've got yours. And why did a marine biologist get invited to come speak about water in the Sonoran Desert? So by the end of our time together, hopefully those those two questions will be more than answered. I think it's somewhat obvious that from this map that the desert surrounds a sea. It doesn't always feel that way, especially when you step outside and it's, oh, 110 or 112 degrees and all you see are, are cacti and mountains. So let's start here. Let's start with you. Take a, a moment and just don't overthink it, but consider this question. What's your water? What's your go-to water? And when did you fall in love with it? When did you fall completely head over heels in love with the way that water makes you feel? I know you know what I'm talking about. I know you're imagining your water right now. That water relationship may be very intimate. It may be the water that you needed literally to drink and bathe wherever you were, wherever maybe you lived, perhaps where you grew up. Or it could be